Okay, so on the bench today we have a kind of unique situation. We have a laptop in, and if you don't know, I'm usually not a big fan of laptops um, for, for several reasons. One reason being they are a bitch to work on. So um, if you're going to have a computer and um, your computer is going to stay mainly stationary, maybe at your office or whatever, um, or you know your home office, please stick with desktops. <laughs> they're much easier to work on. They're much easier to upgrade. Um, you can do a lot more with a desktop. Plus, you get better performance. And um, if you're going to keep a computer on 24-7, go with a desktop. Laptops aren't really meant to be on 24-7. As um, thermal-wise, they don't have the best thermals. They don't have the best um, heat dissipation. Um, and to clean them out can be a pain in the ass. You have to take them completely apart, etc. The problem with this unit is um, we have a broken hinge on the side. So let me go ahead and um, show you what we got going on here. So if you guys can see right here on the side, I don't know what happened to this unit. She claims it wasn't dropped, but... Um, Clearly, based on the damage that I'm seeing, um, this had to have been dropped. Um, laptop hinges don't just do this, or maybe somebody pulled the screen up too hard or something, um, and something snapped. But um, as we can see, we do have we do have some extensive um, damage here. I don't know if there's any parts broken. We'll have to take the unit apart and assess that. There's um, a bunch of screws missing on the bottom of the unit. So um, this one's going to be um, kind of interesting to get in there and um, work at. So let's go ahead and um, flip this over on the bottom. Um, I have to be very gentle closing the lid of this screen because the like metal hinge is kind of sticking up. Uh, we're also going to take the battery out just to be safe because we're working around with this. And um, we're going to go ahead and um, take off the back and see if we can um, look, look at that hinge a little bit better. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to, I'm unscrewing the bottom screws on this unit. Um, the battery is internal. A lot of these um, Lenovo's, this is a Lenovo um, IdeaPad 310-15iKB. Um, on some of these newer Lenovo's, especially the ones that are really thin, um, the battery ends up being internal, which is <laughs> another pain in the ass. Because if the battery fails, you have to take the unit completely apart and... Um, the batteries are a lot harder to replace than batteries that, you know, just pop off on the bottom. Um, so I can't take the battery out until this unit has been fully taken apart. So that's not great. Um, we're also going to take the um, optical, optical drive out because sometimes that will impede on the bottom case. Since this is missing screws, that may, that'll make it um, a lot harder to um, repair. Um, we're going to have to either steal screws from some, somewhere else or um, prioritize um, where screws go. Usually you're going to want them on the edges and especially um, supporting the hinge. So I might take like a center screw or something like that where it's not as important and use that on the corner um, edges for the hinge to, you know, um, give that support back. I do see a lot of dust buildup too, so that's another thing. As we have this unit out, we can um, clean out some of the dust as well. Um, so yeah, I really need to get a magnet, magnetic screwdriver or um, one of them screw magnetizers to where um, it'll magnetize your bits. Because um, taking these screws out, these are in um, these are um, recessed screws, so um, it's not easy to get them out. You do want to set all these screws aside. Remember wh which ones go where. Yep. So it looks like we got 
four gig DIMM module slot. So another thing on some of these uh, modern um, um, Lenovo laptops, these really thin ones, like the idea pads and stuff like that. Um, sometimes you also have soldered on RAM. So, um, like I said, laptops are awful. Um, don't buy a laptop <laughs> unless you really need the portability. You're moving around a lot, you know, traveling, or maybe you're um, a business person that, you know, travels or whatever. Other than that, don't get a laptop. That's my um, best advice to you. Stay very clear from laptops. So, um, sometimes they'll also hide screws underneath, um, underneath these, um, grommets, these rubber feet. So you just gotta, um, pop those rubber feet off. I'm gonna get, like, a magnet or something so I can, um, pull these screws out. Another trick to try, too, if you don't have a magnetized, um, bit, is put, like, a little super magnet on the size of on the side of your um, screwdriver barrel and that will um, magnetize it as well. I can't get the optical drive to slide out because it's catching on something. <sighs> Laptops are a pain in the ass. Ugh, looks like you have a, a hard drive in here. Seagate mobile hard drive, one terabyte. Uh, what's the speed on it? Does it say? Doesn't say. Yeah, 2017. A couple years old. It's a Seagate. Meh. Well, gotta figure out how this, um, bottom comes off. Since we have a lot of warping, um... It's causing um, causing the um, optical drive to catch, so I can't slide the optical drive out easily. Um, looks like we also have a little bit of um, the frame is a little bit broken on the side too, near the optical drive, which isn't good. Um, I might have to go look at a manual, get a service manual or something to see how this bottom comes off. Usually, you just unscrew all the bottom screws and um, it pops off.
So under the um, main um, RAM and Wi-Fi panel, there's a couple screws holding the bottom bracket on still. So I unscrewed those. Um, it's still not lifting off very easily. Um, yeah, this one's not an easy panel that comes off. Might have to take the keyboard off to get to it. <sighs> aye, aye, aye. I hate laptops. I think the main thing that's holding it back is the optical drive. If I can get the optical drive to come out, we might um, clear some clearance. Looks like the the whole back plane for the keyboard is also warped, and um, yeah, yeah. This wasn't a simple. Oh, this just happened all by itself. A couple screws fell out, and you know this happened. No. One thing: screws don't just fall out. Um, so this this had to have been dropped. There had to have been damage occurred somehow to cause it to get this bad. But um, I'm trying to um, trying to bend the um, the hinge so um, we can get rid of some of this big ass warp because this warp is what's causing um, clearance issues for the optical drive. But um, I'm not having too much luck. I also noticed that the back plane on the keyboard's fucked. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a painstaking um, process here to get this out. Okay, so I was able to um, lift up on this side and um, somewhat get it, get the um, bottom off. Um, the bottom is basically um, everything, motherboard combined and everything, so it's a hassle. But I was able to um, slide the optical drive out. Um, so I have it right here. The optical drive, which it's a um, GUE0N DVD writer. I also um, pulled the hard drive out right here. Just a little um, Seagate hard drive. Um, part number 1RK172-070. Um, no idea what the RPM is on this. Probably 5200 or 5400. Um, I see our issue here. So I'm trying to, to um, move this hinge back down flat. So I can um, screw it back into the bottom to f you know fix the hinge, but um, I have a pair of needle nose pliers and I'm moving the hinge, and this hinge, it moves but it is very 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 stiff, like like it's jammed up or something. Um, so maybe this hinge um, needs to be lubricated or something like that. Um, but that hinge got very, very stiff, and maybe what happened is she tried to lift the screen, and the hinge was so, so stiff. Um, so she applied more force and ended up maybe busting um, the screw holders for the hinge or something like that, and maybe the screws popped out. Um, so maybe that did happen, but damn, I've never had, it to, had a laptop to where the hinge um, got extremely stiff. But it appears the hinge on this is very, very, very stiff. Um, I take a pair of needle nose pliers. I'm trying to get some, some leverage on this hinge, and I'm able to move it. But I have to, I have to almost like bend the fucking metal. So I mean, I'm, I'm starting to be able to bend it back, bend the hinge back down. But that hinge it is stiff. So I don't know. Maybe I need to get a little bit of oil, like put a little drop of oil right on the, right where the hinge um, connects to the the main shaft. But you gotta be careful. You don't want that to go into the motherboard or you know any electronics and stuff like that. You also gotta be careful because this does have wires going through it. And usually the small little wires is usually for like the webcam, the webcam light, microphone stuff like that. Sometimes also Wi-Fi antennas will um, go in the bezel of the um, the uh, monitor. But um, I'm checking these wires, make sure they're they're not um, severed. 
Um, the wires, one looks a little iffy, but the wires look okay. They're intact, so that the wires aren't damaged. Um, we do have some um, damage to the um, optical drive bezel. Um, that's damaged. The actual screw holder is completely busted out. So the screw holder for this hinge, the recessed um, like barrel or whatever the hell you want to call it, has been busted. So you probably couldn't even screw this hinge back on if you wanted to. Um, maybe, but you wouldn't be grasping onto anything. Um, so you probably have to get a completely new bottom um, bezel. Um, yeah, that hinge is very, very stiff. Um, I'm trying to move the hinge, but um, damn. My best course of action for something like this is hopefully this is still in warranty. Send it to Lenovo and have them replace it. Um, do the parts. When it comes to laptops, um, usually you just, um, if it's still within warranty, send it to them. But this, the hard drive date on this machine says 2017, so um, that would indicate this unit is pr probably at least three years old. Warranties are usually good for a year or two. Some warranties can go three years, but I, I'm not sure about this. So I'll have to dig into that and see, um, run the serial number and see if it's still within warranty. If it is, that would be my best course of action because it, it, it looks like you're going to have to get a completely new bottom bezel because the screw holder for this hinge um, is completely busted off. Um, so you can't really um, get a grip on that. And if you can't get a grip on that hinge... That hinge being, um, even if it was slightly stiff, because, you know, they usually have some some um, resistance to them so they can hold the monitor up, um, you wouldn't be able to open and close the lid on this um, very easily. You would end up causing more damage over time. Uh, might even end up breaking the panel um, just, just from lifting it up without having that hinge there, um, without having that support there. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, pro tip, don't buy laptops, but, um, I'm going to see if I can get that hinge to go back down, but still I might need to be lubricated because even if I was able to screw the hinge back on, get it back flush, you got to lift the panel on that with all that tension, with all that tension, with all that, you know, pressure, because that hinge is like locked up, um, could end up breaking the plastic or breaking the panel. So yeah, and there is some damage. There is some yep. There's some damage to the to the bezel here. One of these USB ports is the the um, the frame around one of these USB ports is busted off. Yeah, it it incurs a little bit of bezel damage on this side. I'll have to check the other side, but um, <laughs> it's not looking very good. Um, I'll get you a, a close up to this hinge and I'll try moving it and I'm move I'm I'm applying some force and I'm getting as much as my pliers on the hinge as possible to get, you know, better um better anchorage or whatever you want to call it. Um better torque. And um that hinge is very, very tight. It's very stiff. It um it's barely moving. <laughs> so um I'm not sure what would cause that hinge to just lock up like that. If it's like a humidity thing or um, depending on what environmental conditions it's under or if it could be thermal related, maybe heat. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do a little bit of digging. I've never had that issue to where a hinge got so stiff that it ended up busting um, and causing this big ass warpage on the side. I've never encountered that issue. Although, like I said, most of my clients are using desktops because, you know, that's what I recommend they use. So, um, ooh. We might have more damage. Looks like the SATA connector for the uh, the um, disk drive is um, bent, or maybe that that might just be in the, the adapter. I have to take a better look at that. I I I. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research on the on stiff hinge. <laughs> And I'm also going to run the serial number on Lenovo, see if it's still within warranty. And um, we'll take it from there. I'm also going to see if I can find like some a uh, little can of oil that has, you know, you just put a little drop on that hinge. I'm going to be very careful with it. Um, just a tiny, tiny drop right where that hinge um, goes onto the shaft. 
see if I can um, loosen up, loosen it up a little bit. Um, so um, I'll check back um, with more information. Okay, so I did a little bit of research. I also looked at the warranty, and unfortunately, this only had a one-year warranty, and um, it is long expired. It expired in 2018. And I did some research about this stiff hinge issue on Lenovo laptops, and it seems to be a common issue <laughs> with more modern um, Lenovo laptops, especially the thinner ones, as I guess the plastic is much thinner and more brittle, and it doesn't it's not able to support the tension from the hinge um, when you lift the screen up and down multiple times. So um, if you have a laptop like this, um, you don't want to be doing that a whole lot. Basically, keep the, the screen up. Um, if it's stationary, you're never really messing. You're ne never really closing the lid. But if you're out out and about traveling, which is what you have laptops for, um, you're going to be opening and closing the lid quite a lot. And um, the um, I guess the tension from that, the plastic ends up breaking the screw, hol the screw holder for the hinge, since it's plastic, ends up breaking and... Um, you get um, problems like this. Um, since it's not in warranty, um, that's out of the question. Um, I don't know. I'll have to, um, oh yeah, yep, that's broken off. I can feel it, broken plastic, right where the screw holder was. What a shame. Lenovo used to be really good used to be known for making really good um, laptops, think pads and everything. Used to be solid. Nowadays, it's cheap garbage. Pretty much all, everything nowadays is cheap garbage. But I don't recommend laptops. I um, I strongly advise against laptops. Like if you have a, if you're using it stationary, um, or you keep it on 24 seven, something like that, desktop. Stay away from laptops. They're Way too many issues with laptops. They're hard to upgrade. They're hard to work on. They're not very future-proof. Um, you can get better performance out of a desktop, too. Better thermals. Can keep it on 24-7, etc. Yeah, this is a nightmare. Especially because you also have so much proprietariness when it comes to laptops. Um, where parts and stuff are proprietary to the manufacturer. Whereas on desktops, you have more standardization. A lot easier to get parts and um, a lot easier to upgrade. And another thing with these modern laptops, um, they're soldering um, RAM on. So some laptops you can barely upgrade the RAM. Um, they're sealing batteries, so you can't easily replace batteries. Um, they're going with these, um, the designs of them where you have to completely tear the entire thing apart just to clean it out. That was an issue on my Asus laptop is um, I could never hardly clean the thing out because if I wanted to do that, I had to take the thing completely apart. Whereas on my old Dell laptop from 2008, it just has a nice bottom panel. You pop it off, you have full access to the heat sink, everything. You can easily dust, dust the entire computer out, easily. Don't have to take keyboard out, don't have to take monitor off, don't have to worry about popping bezels off and shit like that. Nowadays, on, on all these modern laptops, they are hot garbage. Sorry, but it's just the truth. Um, sorry, I bumped the camera there. So I'm going to have to talk to the um, owner, see how she wishes to proceed. I'm I'm going to have to look around for some oil. I didn't, I didn't see any, so I'll have to um, look around and see if I have a little bit of oil. I'll just put a little drop of oil on that hinge, see if I can free that hinge up. And see if I can, I'm able to mount it to something, but there's nothing to mount it to. So, um, that might not be fixable without getting an entire new, um, bottom, um, frame. Which won't be easy. Plus, you have all your serial numbers and stuff on this bottom frame, too. So, if you get a new bottom frame, you have to put that on the new, new frame. Otherwise, you don't know the, don't have all the information. What a mess. Yeah, and there's so much stuff tied to it that would cost, and labor that would cost a lot of a lot of money because it'd be a lot of hours working on this. Yeah, I might just wash my hands with this one. I told her I I, I can't make any promises when it comes to laptops because too much pr proprietariness, too many things go wrong. 
they are a hassle to have to tear down and rebuild. No. You have busted bezels, which... Honestly, these bezels, that's, that's just a more of a cosmetic thing. So that's not much of a problem. Um, I'll have to check the SATA connector, make sure that's not damaged. Because that, that looked like it was bent from the warpage. But... Um, Best case scenario, I'm able to get the, I'm able to bend the hinge back down and lube it a little bit, so it's, you know, free, freed up and it's able to move easier. Um, best case scenario is I'm able to free that hinge up, get it back flush, and then I'm able to put the laptop up, um, you know, put the lid up, and I'll just have to tell her, hey, you have to use this stationary. You can't be, you can't be closing the lid on it. You know, opening and closing the lid. Just keep, keep, keep it open on your desk or whatever, and never um, mess around with the screen. Never, you know, close the lid. Um, that might be what she'll have to do, which defeats the purpose of a laptop. <laughs> Laptops aren't really meant to be stationary devices like that. But a lot of people use it in that configuration. And when they use it in that configuration, I tell them, your best bet is to go a desktop. Desktop's meant for that, and desktop's much easier to work on. Um... There's really no point in having a laptop if you're going to have a stationary computer. Yeah. I'll see if I can, um, you know, put some oil or free up that hinge somehow. And, um, yeah, might have to wash my hands on this. So I'll talk to the owner, um, see what she wants to do with it. It's out of warranty, which is a real bummer. Because, honestly, it's something like something when you have damage like this with a frame and stuff like that. Um, or you also starting to get things miss, busted off like the SATA connector stuff like that that's when I just say hey I let Lenovo deal with it because um, when it comes to laptops I, I don't like messing with them only thing I like to do is you know upgrade the hard drive upgrade the RAM maybe reapply thermal compound if the laptop design is easy to do so like on my old Dell laptop um, sometimes screen replacements but even then that can be a bit of a bitch um and do things with OS and software when it comes to laptops. That's about the extent I will go on laptops. When it's when you start talking about um, fixing busted parts and messing with the frame and um, busted connectors and stuff like that and broken hinges, that's when I'm like, nope, we'll have the manufacturer deal with it. You're out of warranty? Damn, there's not much I can do. We could try to source this part, but um, this a new bracket and um, or a new bottom panel we can try to source that but with labor and everything involved it will be cost it will be costly because you better believe if i have to because this this bottom panel it's connected to everything unlike it's not just like a an access panel like on my dell to where it's just an access panel there's nothing connected to it oh my god i love my dell <laughs> i love my old dell the design on it was miles better than this piece of shit this bottom bracket, it's connected to everything. It has the it has the optical drive bracket, the SATA connector. It ha every all all everything's like tied to it, and it has a billion screws. Um, and also, it's connected to all the I/O on the sides, so that's that can be a bitch to realign and get in there and everything else. And also has one of those Ethernet um, covers, you know, where you have the little flap that can that covers like half the Ethernet port, which I think is the stupidest fucking thing they ever put on a laptop. Just make it a standard Ethernet port. Stop trying to make like a half-size cover adapter shit. But it has one of those shitty-ass cover adapters, which can, those can cause issues and can be a bitch to get off. But yeah, anyway, um, I'll make a, a follow-up um, to see where we where we will proceed on this or um, wash our hands with it. But um, I'll talk to you talk to the owner, and um, it's not gonna be good news. And I already told her going into it. Um, I can't make any promises when it comes to laptops because they're they they are, um, especially modern laptops, they're just they're complete garbage. I hate to say it, it's just true. There they are, um, and they're making them thinner and thinner and thinner, which um, you may think, oh, that's that's a good thing, not for thermals and not for um, repairability. <laughs> um, so anyway, guys. Um, I'll wrap that up here and we'll um, continue if we can continue or we'll end it here.